<laughs> Welcome to Creative Bath Lab. It's so good. You're gonna love it. Let's get started. Greetings, my name is Dora and I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect bubble bath powder. It pours easily and fills the tub with bubbles. This recipe is super easy, quick, and only requires a few ingredients. Check out the description for the recipe substitutions, helpful tips, and the supply list at the bottom. Now add a half a cup of citric acid for texture. Without the citric acid, the powder is fluffy and lumpy and won't sieve well. With it, it's perfect for pouring. It falls and pours easier and it feels nicer. Then continue mixing the batch. You can also recycle old bubble bath for this project. This is from the last bubble bath brittle tutorial. To see it, hit the information icon. Divide the mix for multiple colors. Choosing colors can be a daunting task. Here are some awesome color palettes to get your creative juices flowing. Add any type of colorant, powder or liquid and mix well. Your powder will now look like this, but you want it to look and act like this, like dry sand. To get it like this, add liquid bubble bath. I don't know the science behind why this works, but it does. It makes the powder dry to a perfect pouring texture and weight. Mix the ingredients well and make sure all the powder is evenly coated. Then lay it on a flat surface to dry. It takes about 12 to 24 hours to dry completely. Last, Sieve the bubble bath to a fine powder. Make sure to get all the lumps. Now, finally, the perfect bubble bath powder for pouring. The powder will not clump. It will remain loose and ready to pour. I highly recommend making a mini sample first. This allows you to check if the colors harmonize well together, check if colors need to be changed or taken out completely, and also to test out decorations. Now I'm gonna show you a few different layer patterns just to give you a few ideas. This one's a color block pattern.
simply pour the powder on opposite sides. This one has diagonal layers. You can also add layer breaks with decorative salt. If you've watched my other videos, you already know this bubble bath is simple for my taste. I normally go all out and add lots of additional decorative items. It's always extra. And it took a lot of willpower, but I was determined to do a simple bubble bath. For more tutorials like this and to show my small channel some love, subscribe now. These are recycled tomato sauce jars. This recipe has citric acid, so make sure the powder is completely dry if using a regular top. If the powder is still wet, the jars may break from pressure buildup due to the reactions taking place. Don't pack it down, but make sure the jars are full to the top so the layers aren't disturbed during travel. If using a top with holes for pouring, a plastic liner is recommended to keep the powder from spilling. Simply slide it on top, then twist the lid on. Normally I have to break or crumble bubble bath, but this is very convenient. Plus it's easy to measure. By the way, I used less than one fourth of this small jar. The bubbles are high quality, fluffy, buildable, and long lasting. I'm currently working on a color additive tutorial that explains everything about all the different colorants which ones are FDA approved, why, why not. Plus, I reveal the most concentrated colorant. If you're not already, subscribe now. You are not going to want to miss this one. I'm actually really excited about it. 